Hamiltonians are ready to celebrate S Day in the Queen City. Finale to a $59 million project. Dream of almost half a century, the Toronto Subway's 4.6 mile line is ready for customers. Very proud of today's event is TTC's Chairman McBride, who has headed the commission since 1933. Construction started in 1949. Now Ontario's Premier Leslie Frost is ready to throw the symbolic green light, assisted by Toronto's Mayor Alan Lamport. Distinguished guests board the special train for the initial run down the line. Premier Frost is at the controls. Part of the subway runs through an open cut. Track hangers on the first train include Metro Mayor Gardner and Toronto's Mayor Lamport. Including Eglinton Avenue, the starting point, and Union Station, the terminal, the train runs through 12 ultra-automatic stations. At the end of its history-making trip, the official party leaves the train to watch Premier Frost unveil a plaque commemorating the occasion and reminding future generations of the day Toronto's first subway opened. The general public are hungry for a look at their gleaming new transit system, and everyone is delighted. Tokens are dispensed at any station automatically. The token obtained is the open sesame at the turnstiles leading out to the platforms. Transfers, too, were automatically obtained from several machines at transfer points. Escalators in various stations provide easy access to the upper levels. An eight-car train can carry 40,000 passengers an hour both ways. It's S Day in Toronto, an historic day for this city, and a milestone in the unending progress of the country. Thank you.